since many of you have dabbled, you know, you all write comedy, but you also work in other genres, what do you find are the main differences between writing comedy versus writing other genres? Anybody can jump in. Well, I find more similarities than differences, I think. I mean, a lot of uh, comedy or drama or action, it's, it's uh, I guess the, the word I generally use when I'm teaching is uh, contrast. And, um, you know, you, if the, the more you know your characters, the more you can set them into re in relief against something they're not used to or, or, or something unexpected, and that can lead to high tension, high drama, or, you know, uh, high comedy. Um, I've uh, written on, on both. I, I've written a lot of uh, hour-long dramatic television, including uh, Millennium. I wrote uh, a funny Millennium, Jumbo Shrimp, Military Intelligence, Funny Millennium. And so um, it was, uh, but it's fun because, you know, um, drama, the best drama, I mean, you know, movies that are just dramatic, I find kind of boring because that's not real life. Even when my parents passed away, we were laughing because that's how you, you know, uh, survive. You know, that's, that was kind of a defense mechanism. So, and that's, you know, so I think in both drama and in comedy, you kind of got to do stuff that it's like, you know, to be the most universal, be the most personal. Just everyone can identify to all that stuff. Just put it in there, including, you know, pot dropping down and people think it's in a baby. <laughs> I was just going to say, the one hard thing I found, having mostly done comedy and then sort of dipped a little bit once in a blue moon into either like drama or action, is the hardest thing is just dealing with sort of, I guess, the, the world's expectations of your work, meaning they want to put you in a box. It's that, it's that very simple thing. You're a comedy writer. Oh, you're a comedy writer. Years ago, uh, my partners and I were probably... Uh, one of thousands of people that went in and pitched on um, an A-team movie, which we were really into. We were, you know, sort of, I'm 43 age-wise, like really excited to work on an A-team movie. And went in with a very serious pitch, but, you know, serious in the sense of sort of like a great action com, uh, a great action movie, which would have enjoyable one-liners. And we pitched them this action sequence that I remember very clearly was all about like on the side of a building or something. And they just kept going, like they kept looking for the joke. Like they kept going like, that's like, oh, so and the joke is, and it's sort of like, there's no joke. We're trying to pitch you an, you know, an, an honest to God action movie. And it's sort of like, but you're comedy writers. And I, I don't know that I, to whatever extent you guys have bounced up against that. But I find, you know, it, it is very fun to do these other things, but you do get, they don't want it. They don't want it from you, kind of a thing. Anyway, thought I'd throw that in down here. <laughs> Absolutely, and I think um, in the old days, in the '30s, '40s, and even early television, people would go back and forth between comedies and dramas, just like the actors, more so than nowadays. And I don't think you were as pigeonholed as much yeah. then. I think it's also. Uh, I mean, having done back to back something that was really funny and something that was a little more serious, I tried to make the funny scenes play as, uh, like, take the funny scenes as seriously as possible and make the, like, you know, don't let the, don't let the actors feel like they're in on the joke because then, you know, they're, it kind of kills the comedy, but also let the most dramatic scenes play as funny as possible and that lets the audience in in a way because I feel like that is also a really fun way to find another layer of dimension into whatever scene you're doing. <laughs>